Miss Yuna, what can I do for you? Sleep tight. What? What should I do? If you rob her, tell her how you feel, yes. No, I have said too much. Miss Yuna turns her back on you. Maybe it is better that way. I... I like Yuna's back. She has nice backside, yes? Yeah. No, no, no! These past two years, Yuna has always been looking ahead into the distance. Always, her back is to me. I like this Yuna. Even more than the Yuna that is facing me. Emuchara. The heart of man is complicated. You know what I say. <laughs> we two are poor bachelors, yes? Speak for yourself, Shani. Oh. Hi, sweetie. This is my darling, yes? What? When? It is your design of destiny. We am not at first, Shani. Oh, stop. <laughs> Quiet it down, huh? Well, I guess your memories are finally safe, Yuna. Yeah. But I have to learn to be stronger. Even places full of memories. Even a place like this can't last forever. I need to accept that. You want to not care? That's not what I'm saying. Just be yourself. I guess. Yeah, you're right. Perhaps one day, I'll find something more precious. But until that day comes, I want to protect this place. The monkeys can't do it alone. Do you see something? Maybe. Ah, the Lady Yuna. Would you like to hear about Vegnagan? <clears throat> Although Vegnagan was constructed during the Machina War, there is no record of it ever being used. One could argue that the coming of Sin made war a secondary concern. But the real reason was that Vegnagan was nothing short of a titanic failure. You see, it was quick to respond to hostility, but lacked the ability to discern friend from foe. A weapon that slaughters indiscriminately would be far too dangerous for actual use in combat. Incidentally, this is why Vegnagan was never considered as a measure to combat sin. Instead, it was locked away under Bavel. Jeez, Gramps, you really know a lot. Where'd you learn all that? 
Hmm, that would be... That would be... Well... This... should explain things. <gasps> Gramps! You're dead? Ah, mortifying, isn't it? Over the years, I managed to completely forget that I am on scent. It was only when I shook your hand, Lady Una, that I remembered. Why? One thousand years ago, here in Zanagand, I shook the hand of another young lady. A thousand years? It was Len. Correct. It was quite a strange feeling, shaking your hand. Two different people from two distant times with exactly the same handshake. You've met a lot of people, huh? Yes, my child. Many meetings and just as many partings. The many people I have known have all journeyed to the far plane, leaving only me behind. Tis quite lonely. Grips? Father? Do forgive me. My memories seem to have a mind of their own. So people really are connected. Ah, but of course. Well, Machen, thank you. I hope we meet again. As do I. Yay! It's a boy! You wanna meet him? Yeah. What do you think? He's cute, yeah? Good thing he don't look like me. Don't be silly. Look, he's got your mouth. E, you think so? What's his name? Uh, uh... <laughs> I think the calm will end before Waka makes up his mind. Well, you better decide soon. <laughs> no rushing, yeah? Naming my son is my first important decision as a parent. Becoming a good father requires intense emotional preparation, yeah? How long are you planning on preparing? Until, uh, my preparations are done, yeah? Oh.
Has Waka settled on a name for his kid? No, not yet. Never could make up his mind. I have something here. I'd like you to give it to him. It's a memory of a war buddy. I give it to him myself, but you understand. All aboard! We'll be setting sail shortly. See, he gets it. Sorry. Harder. Hey. Next time we meet, let's blitz, yeah? Yeah. Show us that shot again sometime. <laughs> Slackers to the very end. I go say goodbye to Becklam. He's already gone. Oh. He gave me this sphere. For me? Hey, let's see. Hey, Waka. Remember that time? Nah, you probably forgot. Something I told you back when we were kids, yeah? There's a sphere on the island, I said. Showing mom and dad. I lied. Truth is, there's no such sphere. I'm sorry. <laughs> back then, you'd lecture me no matter what I did. Someone has to keep you in line, yeah? I guess I was kinda bitter. That's why I made up that story about the sphere. You got time to take pictures, you got time to pray. Especially since you're joining the Crusaders. Enough with the preaching. Someone has to keep you in line with our parents not around. Knock it off with the surrogate parent thing and give us both a break. I just need you to be my brother. His brother, yeah. I don't know why he just couldn't come out and say it. Anyways, you guys stay in the village till nightfall at least, yeah?
That night, Waka gathered everyone in the village around the fire. Well, you probably know why I called you all here, huh? I'd like to introduce the newest member of Bisade Village. Oh, <laughs> we already met him. <laughs> Say, you picked a name yet? <laughs> Don't tell me this is a brainstorming session. Like I do something like that. I chose a name. His name is Vedina. Everybody, take good care of him, yeah? Yeah! yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah! <laughs> Congrats! <laughs> I always try to cram myself into some kind of mold, you know? A blitzer, or a guardian, or a follower of Yevon, and now a father. I always get so wound up about what I should be. But you know, in the end, I'm just me. Anyway, I can't keep coming up with new wakas all the time, eh? So it looks like I'll just have to start doing things my way. That's the way I'll write our story. <laughs> Hang in there, Dad. Sin was nothing compared to diaper changing, huh? Hey, sorry it took me so long to decide on a name, Lou. It's all right. I knew it would be worth the wait. I had faith. You? Had faith in me? Waka, we're in this together. Whether you see it or not, I really do rely on you. <laughs> Guess I'd better not drop the ball, yeah? You won't. They're in their own little world. Come on. Let's not bother them. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 